Okay guys, so I'm here with Fenty and I just woke up from like a three hour nap. I don't know why, but I felt like absolute shit when we came back to the hotel. I think the airplane food really fucked me up. Guys, I'm so happy right now. This is probably the best birthday ever. So right now I'm skin prepping with Fenty's skin. Okay, I forgot to mix my ace drop, so I'm just gonna add a bit more moisturizer. This works so well for a little bit of a bronze look. Also guys, in honor of my birthday, Fenty is giving all of you guys 15% off their whole website. Use the code Katie15 and you can get 15% off. Guys, being 18 is so good. I finally can link stuff in my bio. You guys can finally click on my bio and shop all the products that I use. I'm gonna show you guys my whole like vanity setup right now. Like it's actually so good. Look at this setup, Maya say hi. <laughs> okay, the sun is still setting over there. And I'm vlogging for YouTube, guys. This is absolutely crazy. This is everything I dreamed about as a little girl. It makes me so happy. Okay, guys, my sister is starting to do my hair. I think tonight we're doing a slick back look because my dress, it is like backless at the back. It is so pretty. I need to show you guys it later. I just bought it yesterday, so I'm so excited. Guys, life is just not real right now. Look how red my nose is. I can't stop blowing it. I have like sinus issues. I already took all my allergy meds and I just can't stop blowing my nose. Guys, this is my first time doing like a real slick back. Like my sister's putting a shit ton of gel on my hair. Look at this brush for the Fenty brow pencil. Oh, oh my God, look at your slick back. Look at that insane side profile. I wanted the pieces. So do you like LA more or do you like New York more? I love New York, nothing can wow. ever compare. LA is so different, you know? She's tight as fuck. It looks really good. Wow, that's beautiful. Hair looks bomb AF, thanks to my sissy. Putting on my favorite powder blush from Fenty. It seriously completes the look. Okay, final touches. I'm using this Fenty Diamond Balm, and it's in this gorgeous, like, rose gold color. I'm just gonna put that on my eyelids. Final touches. And of course, the look is not complete without Fenty Balm. Today, I'm using shade Fenty Glow. And the look is complete. Come back for that for video. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Good morning, and let's get ready to go to school. I'm literally starting every video off like this, but thank you so much for 3,000 followers. I'm so beyond grateful that I ever hit that amount of followers so fast. I love the fact that people love watching my videos as much as I love making them. A lot of people have been asking for a makeup tutorial, so this is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration mixed with mm, CeraVe Moisturizing Cream in the Dollar Store Pump. And this is the Inkyless Peptide Moisturizer. I literally love making Get Ready With Me's. It's just something about waking up in the mornings, talking to my phone, and then posting it. It's just, it makes me really happy. This is L'Oreal True Match Lumi Lotion and L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I know a lot of people have been asking for an update about my ex. So I just made the decision to block him because I don't want to like continue forcing something that's not going to happen. I'd rather just keep my distance and just not like make anything out of it and act like nothing's happening. I'm slowly becoming a lot happier without him so I think I'm growing as a person as he could be too. We're just doing it as different people and not necessarily have to be involved with each other to do that. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 50. And I'm pretty sure I have a math exam today, so that sucks. I'm also going with the Kaida Liquid Contour. I'm super good at English, but when it comes to math, um, that's just not my forte. I just want to look extra bronze today because my tan's kind of going away. Also, I don't really like posting videos in the afternoon. Only because I feel like my voice sounds really annoying. Like, I'd much rather listen to my calm voice here when I just wake up than in the afternoon when I have a bunch of energy. Tarte Shape Tape. And I know I'm super late to the bandwagon, but I finally read it ends with us in literally two days. I finished reading it last night and I cried so much during the book. No one warned me on how much I'd cry. But I already have It Starts With Us, so I'm going to wait like a few days and then start reading that. Using Elf Putty Blush in the shade Bora Bora and Glossier in Puff. Just mixing those on the back of my hand and it's going to make such a pretty color to swatch. This is like the most adorable pinky blush ever. Some Elf Setting Spray. I'm using the Hola Benefit Bronzer. I'm so excited because I get Dunkin' today and I literally love coffee so much. Like sometimes I cannot go without coffee, it's really bad. But I'm gonna need it if I wanna pass today's exam. Fit Me Loose Powder to set my under eyes. Now I'm going with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. 
using the next jumbo stick and milk on my waterline now curling with the Teresa Mann eyelash curler using l'oreal telescopic on my mids and ends and then benefit roller lash on my whole lash while i wait for the first coat of mascara to dry i'm going to do this in my inner corner after benefit i go in with the ultra beauty lip oil and a few people suggested that they wanted to see some outfit checks after i do get ready with me so today i'm wearing the airy tank top the h&m sweatshirt the airy leggings and the fugs and i think that's what i'm gonna wear today for school too but that's to get ready with me bye guys hey guys get ready with me guys i'm getting ready to go out but i'm gonna use two of my new bubble ugh, bubble products actually i'm gonna use three guys i'm getting ready to go out to eat um i'm so excited but let me tell you a freaking story time so guys i was getting a tram minding my business going to college like literally two days ago and i was at the tram stop and some guy was like can you help me so i was like wait So obviously the kind person I'm, I was like, yeah, sure, what you can tell me if he was like, I'm trying to get to Manchester Airport, which ticket to I buy? So I was like, sorting out a ticket for him. I was like, all right, here it is. It's £3.20. He was like, £3.20? I'm not paying that. And I was like, all right, don't pay it then. I'm like, all right. So I just left him to it. And then he was like, he, he came to me and he was like, um, I'm a, I'm a stand-up comedian. So if they come up to me, I'll just... I'll just pretend to have a fit. And I was like, what? He was like, if the Trump people come up to me, I'll just pretend to have a fit and then they'll leave me alone. And I was like, all right, okay, good for you. And then he was like, I'm a stand-up comedian. Let me tell you four doctor jokes. So I was like, mm, that's a bit specific. Or... So I was just like freaking scared out of my mind. So I was like, yeah, okay, tell me jokes, jokes then. He just started telling me some joke and he goes, um, wait, I'm so confused. He was like, so I went to the doctors and told him that there was a strawberry growing on my head. And he said that, I didn't have a strawberry going on my head. My finger broke. And I was like, what? What is scat and about? So I got scared and I just walked to the completely other side of the tram because I was like, F this. I'm not putting up with this. Like, what if I literally get killed by some fake stand-up comedian? Oh, my God. I just loved how that popped out. Sorry. Appreciation for bubble. Anyway, so I was just, like, really scared. So I went across the other platform and he started shouting the jokes at me, like, shouting them at me across from the platform. I was literally terrified. And then, anyways, I got on the tram. I made sure that I didn't get on, like, like the same door as him. And then when we got on the tram, all I could hear was him and his big mouth going, guys, I'm a stand-up comedian and this and that. And I bought a house and da 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 And I was just like, go to the airport and go back, like... Go and scare your family. Don't be scaring me. Like, I'm actually terrified. I'm pretty sure he was getting... I don't even know where he was going to, but he was freaking scaring me. I'm just thinking, go back to your house. Go home. Do not scare anyone else. Like, it's actually terrifying. Now my skin is prepped by Bubble. I'm going to use my Indu, um... Um... What's it called? Primer. I've m mostly... I've literally mostly been using oil-based primers. I'm not sure if this is oil-based. This is the best primer I've ever had in my life. And I've never known any good primers to use. And I think this one is the one for me. Guys, also, do not forget to enter my freaking giveaway. Because you guys are not going to want to miss this giveaway. This is, like, the biggest, most properest giveaway I've ever going to be doing. Well, not ever going to be doing, but, like, I've ever done. You're all going to love it. I'm so excited for you all. I'm sorry. Right, I'm actually really thirsty. I could do with some apple and mango juice right now. So, I'm literally going to cop myself some. Oh, my God, guys. I went shopping yesterday with Samara. And we went into loads of shops but like there was massive queues everywhere obviously because it's almost christmas everyone's just shopping and we went, we went in urban outfitters bearing in mind i have never ever ever bought anything from urban so i was just going in there thinking oh samara what are you bringing me into yo it's actually fucking good i was actually stood there with three tops in my hand thinking which one do i buy because i didn't want to buy them all because they all looked the same like two of them literally looked at, with the exact same style they just both said two different things and one was like called um what did it say on it now? It said like feisty, feisty as fuck. And then another one said like, I don't even remember. Oh, too busy to fuck. That's what it said. And I got the one that said too feisty. And there was another one and it was long sleeved and it said too feisty. Or it said something anyway. And the long sleeve one, it didn't look like it would fit right because like it was like really boxed here. So like if it went here, it would have like gaps here where the where the top stopped. So I didn't want it. So I got this other one. I'll show you in a minute after I've done all my makeup and washed my hands because I don't want to get any makeup on it. This is literally my most favourite blush slash bronzer. It is a bronzer, but it acts as a blush. And it's called Bare Skin Minerals EOS Bronzer six grams and i don't think they do it anymore because i've been trying to look and this is so many freaking years old and i just want it so bad i'm literally on rations with it right now now i just need to like ration this out between my two cheeks 
so I don't use too much because I cannot live without this. I'm going to put my bronzer on. I've literally bought a brush set and all the brushes literally look the same. No, we're putting, we're using this big brush. Yes, it has an eyelash stuck to it, don't judge me. Okay. Now I'm just going to do my highlighter in the corner of my eyes on my nose up here. And then I need to do my mascara. I'm literally done now. All I need to do is my edges. And I'm chilling. She on rations with it right now. Now I just need to like ration this out between my two cheeks. So I don't use too much because I cannot live without this. I'm going to put my bronzer on. I've literally bought a brush set and all the brushes literally look the same. No, we're putting, we're using this big brush. Yes, it has an eyelash stuck to it. Don't judge me. Okay. Now I'm just going to do my highlighter in the corner of my eyes on my nose up here. And then I need to do my mascara. I'm literally done now. All I need to do is my edges. And I'm chilling. I've had this makeup on since like 8 in the morning. I'm so ready to take it off. I'm so tired. So get on ready with me for bed. I'm just using the Face Halo reusable pad to take off my makeup. And today I went to Birmingham with all my friends. So that's why I've been up since like half 7 in the morning. But it's like two hours away from me. But we went to the German Christmas market. Which was really, really nice. And it was so cool and there were so many like singers and stuff definitely recommend going before christmas and i did not know birmingham had like a huge shopping center with like every shop on earth i would i need to go back just to do a shopping trip i cannot wait to get into my bed i'm so excited tomorrow i've got to be up quite early because i'm getting my lashes done which i've actually never had my lashes done before i usually just stick on individuals but at the moment i've just been wearing mascara so i'm getting them done at 9 30 so i've got to be up quite early and then i think from the lashes place i'm gonna go straight to the nails place to get my nails done it's annoying because i have a couple of days left at school i've got a half day on monday a full day tuesday and then another half day on wednesday and i break up on the wednesday which is really annoying but we're not allowed nails and lashes at school but i'm just gonna look down so that they don't see my lashes my eyes are really red it's making my eyes look really blue but i need to remember not to wear mascara to the lash appointment because every day i just wake up and put mascara on so let's not do that i don't know if you guys noticed but i've got all silver jewelry on today and i can't even remember the last time i wore just silver jewelry i used to wear it all the time but i switched to gold i can't lie to you guys i do kind of miss my silver jewelry era should I switch back or not? I don't know. I think I might just wear silver or gold depending on what outfit. I think I might just be a bit of both, you know. Oh, my hair's stuck. I'm going to add some of the Baddest Bod Glow Drops. And this just makes my face more tanned when I wake up in the morning. It's so much nicer. For some reason today I was looking at all the Zodiac sign things. Because TikTok came up on my For You page. And then I was just like looking at all the Zodiac signs. And to be honest, I don't really know if I believe if they're real or not, but I think some, like, traits are real. But let me guys know what you think my zodiac sign would be if you don't know what my birthday is. Guys, I also want to show you my purchase. I got this for, like, iced coffee in the morning so I can be really aesthetic. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get straight in bed now because I am so, so tired. And why are my eyes still red? Anyways, good night, guys. Love you all. Hey loves, get ready with me. Okay, so me and my family are gonna go out at six. It's currently 5.27. Oh my gosh, we have to go out in half an hour and I haven't even done anything. <sighs> anyway, so we're leaving to go have food and I haven't got dressed yet. Um, so I'm gonna pick something. I'm probably gonna pick something like pink though because we're going to like this little dessert place in Brighton. It's really like, cutie and pink and flowery and so cute. I would love to take pictures there if I can. So obviously I wanna match it. So I'm gonna wear something pink. Okay, let me see what I have and I'll be back with an outfit. Okay guys, this is my outfit. Okay, so I've got like the little tops from Primark. It's so cute and I love it. And these little flare leggings, which my grandma bought when she went to Brazil. So I have no idea where they're from. I know, I know. I don't really like wearing crop tops when I'm going to go out to eat. But I do have a little juicy couture jumper. I love this jumper. I haven't used it in ages. I literally forgot I had it. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. One thing I don't love is my hair. I'm going to do something about it and I have to do it quick because it's 5.34 now. Okay, I'm going to do a big high ponytail. 
I can't, I can't do it. I'm sticking with a headband, I cannot do it. It's now 5.44 and I wasn't able to do the high ponytail. It was just wasn't high enough and it was just, oh, there was lumps in it. Okay, I'm gonna start doing like my concealer first because I'm gonna do mascara after because it always takes too long on mascara and then I never have time for anything else. I know some of you guys are gonna ask me, you guys why didn't you get ready earlier if you knew you were gonna leave at six? I didn't know, I did not know I was gonna leave at six. I was told at like five. Oh, maybe my mum did tell me, but I forgot. She only reminded me again at five though. And then I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, it's currently six o'clock. My parents haven't called me down yet. So maybe I have a couple more minutes Okay, my makeup's done. I know it's not perfect, but I mean like 15 minutes? Oh my gosh, so proud. Never done my makeup that quick before. Anyways, for jewelry, I got sent the cutest of jewelry. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to show you guys. Look how cute. Little angel earrings. Stop it, that is so adorable. That's adorable. That's so pretty, look how pretty they are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so, so cute. And I've got another one as well. Oh my gosh, they sent me a little pink ring. <laughs> How did the nails gonna wear pink today? Oh my gosh, this is like matches my outfit and everything. Thank you so much, honestly. Okay, I'm basically done. I'm just putting on some glitter. Got this from Sheen. So cute. I love it. Love putting it literally everywhere. But yeah, I've got to go now. So I love you all so much. Have a good day. Bye. Guess who's a back home baller again? Me. Being back home can only mean one thing. We're getting ready to go shopping with my mom because that's my favorite activity to do ever. Ever since I was little, that was my favorite activity to do with my mom is go shopping on the weekends. And we would always hit up Target, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all the good stores. I don't really need anything, but it's so fun to just like walk around with her and look at everything because we like the same things. I did realize though that I don't have a little mirror here to look at when I do my makeup. So I'm just getting ready in my phone screen right now as my mirror. So maybe I'll pick up like a little mirror today. I know a lot of people hate going places when they're home because they see everyone from high school. But lucky for me, my mom moved like an hour away from my hometown hometown. So when I'm out, I literally do not see anybody that I don't want to see and I can still hang out with people if I want because I live a pretty drivable distance to where I grew up So it's the best of both worlds, but I also don't really talk to anybody from high school besides like two people I've pretty much like cut contact with most people from high school when I first started college I did not think this was gonna happen, but it's happened in the best way All the drama kind of just slowly trickles out of your life and it just does not matter anymore at all And the real ones always stick around. It's actually really gloomy here But I'm still gonna wear sunscreen because I'm like terrified of aging one thing about me is I've always been a product girly and I'm finding all the products that I used in high school and it's giving me such bad flashbacks like I found the Jeffree Star blood sugar palette in my closet and like a new piece of my childhood every time I'm here hold on let me show you my favorite part of my childhood not to brag or anything but I came in second place in the third grade spelling bee I have no idea how that trophy still exists but ever since my mom found it through the move everyone's been like making jokes about it and it's actually pretty funny I don't remember much at all about that spelling bee aside from the fact that I was so mad that I was second place and not first I was having an academic crisis probably straight out the womb you're getting a close-up now because I literally can't tell if this is blended or not because I don't have a mirror honestly I don't really even care if it's blended or not we're just gonna add blush and hope for the best this blush never does me wrong. It blends so easily. I'm not even worried about it. This is the blush I use like every single day. Flush Bomb by Merit in shade Raspberry Beret. I could never rave about that product enough. And if this tells you anything, I was a huge Glossier cloud paint girl before this. Also, because I'm not in school right now because of winter break, I do not know what day it is ever. I went downstairs and I was making everyone breakfast today. And I was like, wait, it's 10 o'clock. Does nobody have work? My mom was like, Hannah, it's Saturday. Nobody has work today. As much as I don't miss having to study for stuff and go to class, I really miss having structure in my life every time i have a break and my screen time just goes up so much i need to fix that that is one of my new year's resolutions i am thinking i'm on my phone way too much and it cannot be good for my eyes either because i am blind in one eye and i refuse to wear my glasses not like blind blind but legally blind i can close like this eye and i won't see anything besides blurs and colors okay i'm just gonna add some lip oil i feel like this is a pretty good amount of makeup for just like a little outing with my mom okay slay love you bye <laughs> saturday and get ready with me for the day so um i'm having one of those days where i am not feeling myself my skin is a mess like i even the beauty filter doesn't get rid of it that's saying something <laughs> this is without the beauty filter do you know you know what i mean when you're just feeling super blah about yourself um i don't know if it's because like my cycle's coming or what but i feel like we're just gonna ignore that though and not let that affect my day but i'm not gonna put a lot of makeup on like i said in my last get ready with me because i don't want to like make it more irritated also i just went back in my page like 
really far and i was like a completely different person it honestly makes me kind of cringe at like how i was and it's kind of ironic because i got this comment so i went back on my page and i tried to like delete some of the ones that like i was doing that because that's not the kind of like energy i want on this page i don't want to cuss i don't want to do all that and that was like past Haley. this Haley is trying to be way better about that and though it's not easy because like everyone cusses every single day ow literally a mess oh i don't know what just happened but something just got in my eye and i had to do like eye drops okay i finally got what it, the dog's barking i finally got whatever was in my eye out that literally hurt so bad it was like the sharpest pain and i just wiped off all the concealer because i was like rubbing my eye so back to what i was saying honestly looking back at myself cussing like that is like so cringy i was just in like a sinful world like i used to go to like parties and i used to just do things that like i would just never do again um and it's so weird how much i've changed in like such a little amount of time um cussing is something that i believe is not okay now back then i had no idea the sin that i was in ephesians 4 29 actually says it right here it says don't use foul or abusive language let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be encouragement to those who hear them i should have read that verse a long time ago because i was just like it was so cringy. I cannot even watch it back. It's crazy because like you don't realize sin until you're like out of it. When you're in sin, you're just in the sin. You're having fun. You're doing things that you don't realize is so sinful. And then once you're out of that sin, you cringe at the fact that you even did those things. Even like watching old Snapchat memories is so like... And I'm not saying I am like perfect about this um sin like cussing and everything because like I'm not perfect at all. And in fact, the sin is just like so hard because... I'm around it all the time and it just makes it a lot harder um but I've just gotten so much better at it and mark 1 15 you guys is so serious repent of your sins because Jesus is coming back soon anyways guys this is the makeup I just finished my mascara and I hope you guys have an amazing day